Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be talking about how to improve and maximize your PC's performance when working with the Trimble Business Center software and large files like point clouds and other graphics intensive processes. For the record, I'm going to be doing this on a Dell Precision 7740 laptop. This computer has an i9 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, I should mention it has a Quadro 3000 NVIDIA graphics card. Um, and, uh, and it also has an integrated graphics card like many laptop, uh, high-powered laptop computers. So to begin with, before we do any of this stuff, you're going to go ahead and need to have administrative capabilities. And I always recommend before doing any of these major things to create a restore point. If you're unfamiliar with that, you can just go ahead and go to your Windows desktop and just go ahead and click in restore point. And you can select that from the list and you'll get a dialog window. Let's put it over here where we can see it. And uh, first off, you want to make sure that your system protection is toggled on. If it's not, you can go ahead and you can select the configure option. And for your appropriate drive, such as your C drive, you can turn on the system protection and then go ahead and just allocate the default usage on that. In my case, it's already on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to create a restore point. So let's go ahead and hit create and just give it a name for graphics update. And in this case, I'll just put in today's date. So 6, 26, 22. All right. So that'll take just a moment to create, but a good start. The next order of business would be to make sure that your graphics card is up to date. Now, in my case, I'm using a graphics card by NVIDIA, and uh, there are a number of different graphics cards that are out there. There's also a number of different ways that you can make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date, but one of the most straightforward ways is simply to go online and go to NVIDIA's website or whoever graphic uh, uh, provider you have uh, and go to the appropriate website and go ahead and update those drivers. Oftentimes, you can do that through the manufacturer's website of your PC. In my case, uh, Dell will do an update for me as well. But uh, go ahead and update those drivers. Make sure you've got the latest and greatest before we do that. So the next order of business is going to be to make sure that your computer, particularly if you're using a high-powered laptop computer, is using the dedicated high-powered graphics cards. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do that, but when you're using an NVIDIA card, one of the most uh, straightforward ways to do that is to just go ahead and right-click in the open space on your PC desktop. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'm going to go to the NVIDIA control panel. You have a different graphics provider there'll be a similar type of thing going on there. But in this case, what I'm going to do is from the options on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the manage 3D settings option. And to the right, you'll see two different tabs. In this case, I'm going to go to my global settings and you'll see that there's under preferred graphics processor, several different choices. Now I've done this previously, but uh, typically you may see that set at auto select. We're gonna make sure that this is set for the high performance NVIDIA processor. And uh, so we wanna go ahead and make sure that that is set up. And then additionally, once we've gone ahead and done that, we're gonna go to the program settings and under program settings, we're going to go ahead and select a program to customize. Now, again, I've been through here before, and uh, but you want to click through the drop down list and go ahead and tell it that it's the Trimble Business Center software that you want to go ahead and make. And then go ahead and select the preferred graphics processor for this program. So in this case, the high performance NVIDIA processor for my computer. A couple more additional steps is that under the specify the settings for this program, you want to go, go ahead and slide on down. And under the power management mode, you want to make sure that it's set to prefer maximum performance. So that's what 
we want that to be. And then last but not least is a new setting in Windows, which wasn't there previously, but you'll see up at the top where it says Windows OS now manages this selection of the graphics processor. If you go ahead and open up this Windows graphics selection, you're going to go ahead and you're going to get to this graphics settings option. And if you've not done this before, you want to make sure that this choose an app to set preference is set to desktop app. And you're going to go ahead and select browse. Now, because I've done this previously and because my TBC is set to the default directory paths, you're going to want to go ahead and assuming you're in the default directory paths as well, is make sure that this is set as this PC, local PC, and you're basically going to path this to the Trimble Business Center software. So I'll scroll down a little bit so that you can see that. You'll select Trimble Business Center from the list and hit Add, and you go ahead and do that. You want to make sure that it says High Performance here. If it's not, you can click on it, and you can select Options and make sure that that's set for High Performance, and go ahead and save it. And this ensures that when you're running TBC, that it's using your more powerful graphics card and not the integrated graphics card, which is just part of your PC's motherboard. So, so that helps summarize the graphics settings for the TBC software. So I'll go ahead and close that on out. So at this stage of the game, what we've done is we've basically updated our graphics driver and we've gone ahead and told the software that we want to make sure that we're set up to use that dedicated graphics card. So now that you've done that, one other step that you can take is to maximize the uh, allocated RAM memory when you're using the TBC software. So let me go ahead and open up TBC once again. It's going to take just a moment to open, so we're going to give that just a second. But once we're there, we're going to go ahead and allocate 50% of our computer's available RAM memory to using to use with uh, point clouds. So in just a second, as soon as TBC opens up, I'll show you how to do that. But what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and once it opens up, we're going to click on the file drop down, and then we're going to go to our options. If you don't know how much uh, RAM memory your PC has, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just kind of put in an artificially high number. Now, in order to make this setting stick, you actually have to be in a project. So let me go ahead and select new project. I'm not really going to worry about the settings in particular. I'm just going to go ahead and take a blank project and select US Survey Foot. But we'll give that just a second to open up. But now that I've got a blank project, let's go ahead and click the file drop down in the upper left. We're going to go ahead and slide down to options. And under options, under the general settings, you'll see an option for point clouds. So we're going to go ahead and select point clouds from the list. And under point clouds, you're going to see a thing that says rendering memory cache size. I believe that the default right now is two, or excuse me, four gigabytes in the current versions of TBC. But if you're not sure how much RAM memory your computer has, just put in an artificially high number here. In this case, I'm going to put in 64 gigabytes. And if you hit your tab key, the software will automatically look at your RAM memory, split it, max it out, and show you what's going on here. So that pretty much summarizes how to maximize this. I hope this helps your performance and that uh, your surveys are successful. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.